Howdy be, Possum Patty here. And yeah, what's the mess on the desk today? Well, I was watching Janet Nash do some eco printing outside, and she did some urban printing too. But I decided to go outside and give it a go. So come on along to find out what happened. Well, I was so excited after watching Janet Nash's video, I decided to grab up some supplies and go outside. The first thing I did was go over to the side yard. Well, there's ferns growing everywhere, but I went to one patch of ferns over on the side yard. And I took a, oh, it's about six feet long, piece of this um this is just brown packing paper very lightweight and i put it out on the lawn and i put some little rocks on it to hold it down in case the breeze came up i've just laid out a piece of packing paper you know just a lightweight brown packing paper in the middle of the lawn because it's nice and sunny here I put some nice rocks on the corner so it doesn't blow away. And I'm going to lay the fern fronds down on the paper and then I'm going to spray them. And then I took the ferns and I started laying them down on the paper. I made two sprays, one with a Dollar Tree black acrylic, and I put it in a spray bottle. Cheap acrylic paint from the Dollar Tree with a little bit of water in there. And this is some gold acrylic paint with a lot of water in there. And I have no idea how this is gonna come out, so this is an experiment. And then I sprayed over the ferns. The spray did get kind of drippy, but I wasn't caring. I was loving the black drips and the gold drips and just spraying all around. And it, it came out okay. I, I mean, I kind of liked it. I didn't get quite as much detail as I wanted to, but I thought for a a painty background that it would work just fine. And then I'm like, ooh, maybe I should add some color. So I came in the house and I got some of my uh, dilution sprays. And I believe I started with this one, which is called turquoise. And I started putting the ferns back down again and spraying over. And I love the way the turquoise looked with you know, the black and the gold. That's a great combination, turquoise, black, and gold.
then I got out some purple and I got out some yellow. <laughs> and I was just going to town. In some places you can see the ferns very clearly. In other places it's just a painty paper background. So this was a lot of fun. So this was a lot of fun. I just went to town with dripping paint and spraying paint. <laughs> I love the turquoise there. Well then, in her video, Janet got out her gel plate. So I went back in the house and I got out my gel plate and I went over to the picnic table and I cut up some of the packing paper and I just started putting the ferns on the gel plate and you know getting some imprints with the ferns. Well they came out quite lovely. I love the colors. I love the splatters. I wish there was a little bit more definition with the ferns. So I started playing around. I dumped some paint on a piece of paper and I was going to print like this. And then I was like, well, why don't I just get the gel plate out? <laughs> why don't I just go get the gel plate? It's a little watery. That might be okay if I had less water on it. Let's see. Oh, it came out lovely on the test paper. All right, so let's do it again. Now look how nice it is on here though. Let's see what we can do. I got a gel plate. I got some acrylic paint. I brought something out to roll on. you see that? It was beautiful sunny. Can you believe this? Now it's raining. <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> you can't go one day without the rain. And it started to rain. I couldn't believe it. It was a beautiful sunny day and I'm like, oh, this paint's going to dry great outside. It's going to be wonderful. <laughs> and it started to rain. Well, I didn't bring the ferns inside. So I am adding more details to the papers with some stencils. So let me bring you in closer over here and show you what I'm up to now and maybe give you a closer look at the painty paper. Close up, you can really see where the ferns were, can't you? Look over there, yeah, see? See that one over there? That's awesome. Look, you can see the little leaflets over there, and there's one there. But I do love all the black and gold grits. Just a little bit of color on top. Okay, look at this yumminess. <laughs> 
You can see the ferns in there. I love this com color combination. I got a little bit of purple there. I don't know how, but that's okay. Probably just drip. And this gold acrylic paint is really sparkling. Here's a really nice piece. Okay, I'm just going to show you how I made these pieces. This is a protective cover for the gel plate. And I looked for a section that I really like. Like in here, I think this is gorgeous in here. You can see all these ferns. And I laid it down like that. And then I took my saran wrap and just ripped it like that. I'm going for Possum Perfect here, so it will have to be precise. Isn't that gorgeous? A little wonky. I know the other side was a little crooked, but that's okay. I can't rip that small of a <laughs> piece because I can't uh, can't grab a hold of it. That's it's close enough, close enough, and it's gorgeous. And you can see all the ferns on there, and all that sparkly yumness. This is paint that has soaked through the paper. All right, so let me give you a little bit of a closer look at what I'm doing right now on the table. And I said, well, this is beautiful. I can see the fern on there. I love the gold, but I wanted an accent right there. So I got out some stencils. I used it like a dark blue and I put that right on top of the gold. And I'm like, ooh, I love that. I love that. And on the back, I did a fern and you could see the fern print here. This was a gel plate pull from outside when I was using the real ferns. And then I put another one of those berry bushes there. And I put some seed pods on that side. This has got a nice gold fern right there. And this is actually the stencil this just had some green on the background. I said, well, let me just do a gold fern on that one. See, some of these are double-sided. This one's got really nice fern imprints on it. It's got a good splash of gold. This side is really nice, and I was just playing on this side. But this is the, uh, the front side. This is a gel plate pull using the real ferns. So this is a ghost print, you know, from the other page when I, I pulled the berries off and this was what was left on the gel plate. I might add something to this, I might not. And I tried a little bit something different here. I put some white paint over the blue that was left on the gel plate and I pulled it up. I kind of like that Delph tile look of the white and the blue there. And this has a bit of stenciling on it because it didn't really have much in the way of a fern print on it. So I might layer more things on these pages. I might leave them to, you know, use in the journal and then add things that I'm journaling about on top. And here's one that I'm working on right now. Now this is an experiment. <laughs> this side's got a really nice fern on it, as you can see. And it has some glorious gold drops there. This is my fave combination. And there wasn't really anything on the back. Because, you know, I was just spraying one side of the paper. All the double-sided ones are just some things I've been doing with the gel plate. And I thought that I wanted to make this dark. I'm going to see if this works. This is Windsor & Newton Renaissance Gold. 
and I believe I probably got this out of the clearance bin at Michael's at some point. And I'm going to see, I love the navy blue over the gold paint. So I want to experiment to see how the gold would look over the navy blue paint. So I'll just do a few of these and then I really need to spend some time cleaning up. You know, once you get carried away with this, it's like, oh, it's so much fun. You don't want to stop. And I've got a huge piece of paper left. I might not cut it all up into such small pieces. And this is a notebook from the Dollar Tree. Today, I'm a unicorn. Tomorrow, I'm a mermaid. <laughs> and I am just using it to clean off the brayer. I have no idea <laughs> what I'm going to use this for. But by the time I get to use it, it's going to have uh, painty pages for sure. Okay, I'm going to get my stencil. And we're going to see how this is going to look. And it doesn't matter because I love the other side. This side I love already. So the back side is just going to be a bonus. Then I was thinking, oh... Do I have a mushroom stencil? Can I make a mushroom stencil? Oh, I have mushroom stamps. <laughs> oh, there's so many things I could do here with all this paper. All right, let's see what we got here. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> interesting, interesting. I do love the way these little bits of colors are coming through with the gold, yeah. though. What about this piece over here? I'll be right back and show you what I'm doing with these little pieces. Well, do you remember my little fairy house dies from BB Craft that I love so much? Look at the houses with the painty papers. I love it. I love it, especially this one. Now this paper is very thin, but the dye worked perfectly. I did not even layer it up with anything, but I love it. And they sparkled. I know it's hard to see in the camera, but they've got gold sparkles all over them. BB Craft, and I will link, I did a haul on these, and I did a demo on these, but I will link that information below. If you would like to order a set of these, they are super, super cute. And I know I've used them already, but I'm using them again because I love them so much. So I have these papers, these yummy, yummy papers that... I can use them in my journal and as backgrounds or layer them up. And I'll be making some more of these and playing with stencils or if I get another nice day with no rain, <laughs> go outside and maybe put some uh, leaf prints or something on top. And I've got my fairy houses. I have this top to a blueberry pie box. Yum, yum. <laughs> and I might just be able to get this into my journal. Because I love a window. And I was thinking about using the scraps from around the edge to cover this up. So let's see how that's going to work. Hmm. There's my newspaper. <laughs> this place is a mess. There it is. 
Okay. It's a happy mess. <laughs> it's a very happy mess. I'm going to have to trim it down a little bit, the box I'm talking about, to get it on that page. But. see how it goes. I might journal about what I did today and maybe I'll use this as a window. So I will link Janet's video below. If you want to watch her at play. Do I want to use oh, scraps here? Just some messy play for today. I am working on my wreck, wreck this journal. I've got a few prompts done, but not enough to make a whole video yet. But I'm planning by next Saturday to have a bunch of wrecking done. Very fun, very fun. Goes with this page really nicely too. And I've cut it down to fit the flower shape. But the window itself will fit right on like that. Just have to cut a little bit of the frame. And I'll put something in the window there. And after I cut it down, I could take the gold pen and go around the shape after it's cut down. So there is my mess for today. <laughs> and I haven't even gotten to the... Um, the purple and the yellow and I still have you know like three feet of this green left. So I've gone from no painty papers to yeah now I'll get a bunch. <laughs> now I have a bunch to play with. All right this is making me smile. It's making me happy and I hope you have some fun with your junk journaling today or maybe you're making some painty papers too. Or maybe you're doing some stenciling. Or maybe you're doing some die cutting. <laughs> Happy painty play. Bye bye.